Today is September 21st, 2010. This is a Yeti. And this is five things. This week, Troll! An 80s fad returns, and it's not members only jackets. Ben Harper and Nick Hornby roll up a fatty of... Look at the tree! And Jon Stewart leads the rally to restore sanity. All right. I like to think that my show has been moderately successful. I mean, I have had my own parody. Five other things with Karen Bells. That's me. Who likes to walk the and recently my friend Tom has begun doing the Hence Review, which uh, I kind of think of as a spin-off of my show. It's like the man in the field. The real Gobbler's Knob is about 1.3 miles away. And the only way to really find it is you drive around town until you find the one sign in town that will lead you to another sign, which will lead you to one more sign, and then you'll end up in a field. Is that okay, Tom? Can I think of you like that? Parody is here. The Hence Review is here. Check them both out. But now, fame is assured because I have my very own internet troll. Don't talk about the troll! For those of you who might not be familiar with the term internet troll, I will refer you to Rocket Boom. Here at the Institute for Internet Studies, there is one thing that we don't like to talk about all that often. Something dark, and maybe a little scary. Something that could be lurking inside all of us. Trolls. So, what is a troll? A troll is someone who deliberately causes controversy. So I've discovered that I have an internet troll. I'm gonna try and scare it off. Go away! I'm not sure that that's working. Stop feeding the troll. I know, he's right. Talking about the troll just makes it stronger. But the mere fact that I have a troll is one of the tenets of internet stardom. So I should actually be thanking you, mysterious person who I definitely don't know who you are. Number two. As you may have heard, Paris Hilton was arrested a couple weeks ago. Uh, and then more recently, Lindsay Lohan got out of jail and rehab, and then uh, she tested positive for cocaine. Now, over the weekend, Bruno Mars, who sang an excellent song with B.O.B., uh, got arrested in a restaurant bathroom for the exact same thing. Must I remind you, celebrities, that the year is 2010, not 1985. Why can't you guys just stick to booze and pills like everyone else? I mean, I'm a quasi-celebrity. I understand the pressures of fame. I don't know if you've heard, but I even have my own troll. Stop talking about the troll! As I mentioned in an earlier episode, Ben Folds and Nick Hornby are working on an album called Lonely Avenue. It comes out next week. When I first toured the UK, I was reading his books. That's where I feel like I met him. And then I started bothering him about writing lyrics for me after that. And I, I wrote about Ben in my book, 31 Songs, which was songbook in America. One of the things I'd said was, how brilliant the lyrics were on this song, Smoke. And, uh, you know, this was why Ben Folds was a genius. And then Ben wrote to me um, and said that, you know, it was very kind of you to say all those things and I didn't write those lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't tell, Nick Hornby is a very English person. He's from England. And in true English gentleman form, all of his lyrics are incredibly dirty. I mean, it's just sh and and there's a song written from the perspective of Levi Johnson, Bristol Palin's baby daddy. Can't recommend it enough. It comes out a week from today, September 29. Last Friday, the Daily What dot at, it's Daily What, whatever, posted a video of the Brooklyn tornado that took place last week. <laughs> We're in a tornado right now. We are bro. in a tornado. By Saturday night, the video had amassed 400,000 views. I reposted it on my Facebook with the caption, the Gregory Brothers will auto-tune this in three, two, one. Look at that, look at the tree, the tree, look at the tree, look at the tree. I'll agree with my friend Andrew, it's no backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. But it's still auto-tune the news. Praise be to the brothers Gregory. Kapow, number five. Jon Stewart finally announced his big, super secret, super surprise last week. And it's a rally. Jon Stewart has been taking on the kooks in the right-wing media and the Democratic Party for not 
you know, ever doing anything. And he thinks it's time to make the discussions a little more reasonable, you know, put some sanity back into the equation. For a few examples of insanity, I'm going to turn you over to Fox News and Tim Burton. It's Saul Alinsky. It's Woodrow Wilson. It's SDS. It's che. Cloward and Piven. Acorn. The Apollo Alliance. Exhibit C. The horn I was picking up at Chuck's Bikorama. I bought this pen one hour before my bike was stolen. And you've gone over something again and again and again and again. Like I have. Certain questions get answered, others spring up. The mind plays tricks on you, you fight tricks back. It's like you're unraveling a big cable knit sweater. That someone keeps knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting. So just like with SPX, I will be hitting the scene with Alicia, camera in tow. Uh, my family will be sending a contingent down ahead of time the night before to kind of secure the LZ. What are you talking about? I don't know. Anyway, if you're going to the rally, please post below and let me know. Maybe we can try and meet up. Maybe uh, we can all go together if you're from around this area. So that about does it for this week. I've got some Halo Reach to get back to and some trolls to be fighting. Stop talking about the troll!